guys, it's Harley from Vitmill. Today we're reviewing the Schmock Nord 19 all-in-one, all-in-one AIO. So here we've got the Schmock Nord all-in-one. Quite standard boxing really, apart from its top open. See if we can get in. Very thick user manual. Warranty card. Charger. Micro USB. No point eight coil. One point four coil. And we've got the stick up in. There you go, guys. Hundred and twenty-two mil by nineteen mil, weighing in at ninety-four grams. So a two mil tank. It's stainless steel, and it rocks in it. 15 to 25 watts. Rocking a 1300 milliamp hour battery. It's also got an integrated tank. So you can't use any tank on this guys, you can only use the tank it comes with. I presume you can buy a replacement. But it uses the node coils, so that means you put them straight in the bottom. The node coil is pretty decent. It comes in black, blue, red, gold, stainless steel, or seven colours. In other words, rainbow. It's got the locking button, so you can't just slide open. It has a battery indicator on the button. The battery indicator is quite standard. 0 to 30% red, 30% to 70% is orange, 70% to 100% is green. And you double click the button twice to get the colour. Protection wise, you've got 8 second cutoff, low voltage protection, short circuit protection and lithium ion protection. So let's get to it. The airflow is not changeable. You got three holes at either side. I don't like that, and I think it does the entire system down a bit. I know the smock node pod system hasn't got any changeable airflow, but the airflow seems about right. On this, the airflow seems quite decent for 0.6 node coils mesh, but for the higher resistance coils, the 1.6 and 1.8, you don't seem to get any flavour. I, I just can't fare well with this. Another thing I've found about the build quality is if you look right here, the the top isn't a snug fit, it, there's a bit of looseness. And I might be picking a bit of here, but things like that really matter to me. If, if you're making an opening tank from the top of a button release, at least make it a good release. You know, it's. Sorry guys, you've lost a point right there. Depending on what coil you're using, you're looking between 700 and 1100 battery life per seconds. Which I suppose is quite a decent amount, but I don't think it's anything to brag about. It has got a bigger battery than the Smock Node pod system by 200 milliamp. The Smock Node's only got 1100, it's got 1300. But it just doesn't do it. I like tubes and pens and whatever. But it feels a bit, I don't know, the colours wore a little bit as well this week, which, which really, I don't like it guys, there you go, I don't like it. It's not too bad for the sub -ohm. I think the change of blur flow would make a big difference. But if, if you're going to go smart and I, su I suggest you just go with pods, because I really like the pods. And this, I'm not going to lie, for, for the mouth lung, I couldn't get any flavour at all, and I do put that strictly down to the airflow. There you go guys, I'm not going to rant on being pessimistic. It's not a really bad system. But at the same point, the fact that you got you... I don't like that. I do like the other change of coils, mind you. I like the idea of the top. But I don't like the practice because it's not that good. What can I say? I believe it's got a 1 amp charging rate as well. So that's going to take 
about an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, about an hour and a half, sorry. But there you go, guys. Another negative review. If you're going smock, go for pod. Can't go far wrong. Last week on the comparison video, I promised you I was going to give away the Falcon and the U World Crown. What we're going to do is we're going to choose two winners. The first person to contact me on Facebook or Instagram gets the first choice which one we get. The second one gets the second choice. So the first winner is Jeffrey Robinson. Congratulations, dude. I'll comment on your comment, but please don't forget to message me on Facebook or Instagram in the next two weeks. You will have to pay postage. Second winner is Michael Parkhurst. Congratulations, dude. Same goes to you. You have to pay postage. Message me on Facebook and Instagram. Check it out. Now, guys, we're giving away the Smock Nord All-in-One. I don't know why you'd want it, but if you do, it is there. To be with your chance of winning, don't forget to read the terms and conditions below. Follow us on YouTube. Comment down below for your chance to win. Don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, share, ring the bell, all that stuff. You know what to do. Thanks for watching, guys. And also, I want to give a massive, massive thank you to you all. Massive thank you. In less than four months, I've got 500 subscribers, and that means so much to me. You must be here for giveaways because my videos aren't that good, I'm pretty sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Most of all, don't forget, stay cloudy. I always forget something. Next week, we're doing a Snow Wolf's pod. So don't forget to tune in then to find out who's won and to see my opinions on the Snow Wolf mod. Uh, pod, 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 pod. And don't forget, to, so don't forget to tune in next week to find out who's won and my opinions on the Snow Wolf pod. Cheers, guys. Stay cloudy.